Good evening, friends. God bless you. And uh, today we are continuing our study on evolution and Bible. And, and today we are going to discuss an interesting sub subject of dinosaurs. Now, we will address uh, fundamental questions. Are dinosaurs real? Yes, they are real. Does Bible talk about dinosaurs? The answer is yes, Bible does talk about dinosaurs. Did human and dinosaurs coexisted? That is a question where evolution theory and uh, creation theory differs. Where according to evolution theory, the last dinosaur went extinct about 50 million years ago. And human did not evolve or came into the picture about 30 million years ago. So that is a gap about 20 million years. While Bible talks, Bible says that hu, Bible talks about human and dinosaurs coexisted. And the last we'll also address where dinosaurs on Noah's ark. Because we, we saw that Noah saved all creatures. And what happened to dinosaurs? Were they on Noah's ark? Before we go further, what dinosaurs means? Where the name come from? Actually, it's, it's made up of two Greek words, Deinos and Sauros. Deinos means terrible or monstrous, and Sauros means lizard. So a combined Deinos and Sauros means dinosaurs. That is monstrous or, uh, or terrible lizard. Now you will be surprised that dinosaurs, the, the word dinosaur was not existed until 1841. It's very recently in, in terms of the, the age. In 1841, Sir Richard Owens, an English anatomist, created this word called dinosaurs. Now, when the word was created, doesn't mean that dinosaur, dinosaurs were not there. They might be called out by different names. You will be surprised and or you might be aware that every year that, that there are new words already always been uh, continually added to the dictionary. And there are so some new words that I didn't even knew that like uh, the word called twig or guest or frenemy. A frenemy is an interesting word where where it's a person, frenemy means a person who pretend to be your friend, but it is actually your enemy. Those words were not in existence. Doesn't mean that we did not hear up before a person who pretended to be friends, but they were really enemy. But we call them according to dictionary, frenemy. My point is that dinosaur were not called out by name. Dinosaur does not mean they did not exist. So then how about the names of dinosaur in the Bible? You'll be surprised that in older version of King James version of Bible, older King James version of Bible, if you search a word, dragon, you will find a 19, 19 scriptures that refers to dragons. Now, the, by the description, I will, I will provide you the uh, scripture references later on but by those scripture uh, de definition or description we can say that the scripture is Bible is talking about dinosaurs also as you as, as you realize that we have now uh, different versions are are uh, being added to our understanding of the Bible so nowadays, King James Version has translated those words dragon or there is another word called tannin. Tannin means also a dragon. It's, it's a Hebrew word tannin. But now either tannin or dragon in current version of uh, uh, King James Version of Bible is translated as a great well. New English version, NIV, has translated those words, dragon or tannin, as a great creature of the sea. By the way, the tannin word means the monster of land or sea. And it is talking about dinosaurs. Like I said, dinosaur words was not in existence before. 
NASB translate those words as a great sea monster. And if you look at the NLT or uh, New King James versions, it translates those words as a great sea creatures. But they don't translate as dinosaurs. Now, I'm not here to debate why those words were not translated as a dinosaurs by description. They might have their reasons. But what I'm pointing out that word Hebrew word tenin or the, or the older King James Version dragon were referring to the dinosaurs. What about apart from the scripture, apart from the Bible? If you look um, around accounts from China or Europe or Middle East or Latin America, in those cultures you will find a reference of some creatures like a dinosaurs. There is a record of Marco Polo in China that he saw that the royal house kept dragons for ceremony. He recorded that royal houses are keeping dragons for special ceremonies. And this is Marco, Polo's, uh, Marco Polo's record. Greek historian Horodotus and Jewish historian Josephus describes the flying reptiles in ancient Egypt and Arabia. And in many old cultures, it was an honor to kill these creatures. There are numerous records we have found that warriors killing a great uh, beast in order to establish their, um, their authority. In the mythology of Greece, Egypt, Rome, there is a description of dragons, where they come from. And if you look at the arts, dinosaurs are depicted in so many arts. Now, if dinosaurs and humans are 20 million years apart, how they made a way into culture, into art, into uh, paintings. Dinosaur-like creatures feature on Babylon Babylonian landmarks. They are found in Roman mosaics. They are found in ancient pottery and royal robes. They are, they are found in Egyptian burial shrouds, Peruvian burial stones, Mayan sculptures. All these places we have found a paintings or carving of, of dinosaurs. Now, if human and dinosaur did not coexist, or human has never seen them, how they paint or carved such images. We'll continue our study, but dinosaurs are real. Bible makes the reference of dinosaurs, and dinosaur coexisted with humans. We also talk, we'll talk in, uh, in uh, future studies about dinosaurs on Noah's Ark. Stay tuned. God bless you. Thank you.